We're gonna try this baby right here. This is a this is a big boy, big boy hopper. That's probably what I should call it. I should call it a big boy hopper. But um, it uh, it also maybe you can tell there it's got a little loop hanging off the back, and that's for a dropper. And uh, makes life a lot easier tying onto that loop than tying onto the hook. Plus it also it just gets the angle right. Uh, the way that loop is, it, the, the you know the the fly line, the uh, the tip is just going to hang right straight down. Uh, we're going to tie this one in yellow though. This is a chartreuse one, but uh, the one I'm going to tie now is yellow. I'll show you how to put that loop on. It's pretty easy. Hook I'm using is this one right here. You know, it's big boy hopper, so you need a you need a big boy hook. Uh, predator, predator trout from Partridge. This thing is great. Now this is a streamer hook. Right, this is a streamer hook. It's, it's not going to break it down, so don't don't worry about that. It being heavy, it's that's not going to that's going to make a difference here. The loop is this thing right here. See that? It's a Flamin Fishing Company uh, wiggle shank. It's used for nymphs. See the little picture there? It's just a shank with a loop on it. To tie it on, you can use any type of 6.0 or 3.0 thread you want. I just use whatever, whatever I have a lot of, or whatever I don't use a lot of. This just happens to be purple, and I threw some wax on it. And you really don't even have to tie it on. I went to tie it on right there, but you could actually go back pretty far, because in reality. Um, You're just tying on the loop right now. Get to about here. Important when you do this loop, there's a where they close off the loop, there's a gap there. It's tough to see, but you want that gap to be on the top. And you also want it hanging off pretty good because we're gonna bend it around. There's also actually another little thing you can do. If you want, you just take the you take the shank and you just put a bend in it. You see how it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a little tiny bend in it. It's going to help stop it from pulling out. But also bending it around the shank is going to help it as well. And this, this thing will not pull out, I guarantee it. So let's just hang it off the back here pretty good. And then we're going to go up. We want to make sure it's on top. So if you go slow first, and then make sure you go off the shank and then back on. So I go, I go, I go front to back once. Then I just get a little super glue. That's actually kind of a lot of super glue. And then I'll go back forward. Remember to make sure you go off off the shank and then back on. Just spreading that super glue around. Then and go back again, make those turns pretty close this time. Now you want this thing to be tight, real tight right now, because when you bend this, you, you have to see how I have to actually force it around. If it's not tight on there when you do this, it can just roll right off, and that, that's, uh, that's going to screw everything up. So bend it around, and you're doing a turn, and it's going to stay there without a doubt, right? Then if you want... Put some more super glue right there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And 
that's on there forever. Now I'm switching to a it's just a 60 yellow. And right before it gets flat, right before it gets flat, you're gonna tie on the tail. The tail I'm using is uh, deer hair. So the tail, let's see, let's look at this one here. The tail I got hanging off looks like a hook point's length. I think that's pretty good. Now you want to keep this on the top as, as best as possible here. And you also don't really want it to flare. So when you put this thing on, put it on loose. See what I'm doing there? I'm really going very loose. And now we cut all this off. Watch the thread. And then we could kind of quickly run it up and back. And you get tightened down pretty good. And all those little hairs, we'll just clip those. So I put one leg on each, on each side of the tail. This is just a round yellow leg. And I don't normally do this, but I'm doing it on these. Just a little bit. This happens to be seal spur. I don't think it matters which one you use. Yeah, you fold them back. Body case and body. I'm just going to use some two millimeter foam. I think this is two millimeter. So this is the body case. It's just a triangle piece of foam. And this one is, what is that? It's almost like two shanks in length. It's probably about two shanks in length. And to t just to see if it's going to work, you just want to fold it and then put it on top here like that. And you take a look. And I would say this looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Just took the quarter inch off. Now I'm just, I'm sort of squeezing it, just to, I'm not really pulling it. If you pull it, it'll break, but I'm just kind of squeezing. Yeah, this, this should do it right here. This is tied in fine. Now the body is, it's the same thing, it's just a triangle piece of foam. But if you see here, this, this part is a lot thicker than down here. But you want it to be thicker over here when you're done. So what you need to do is, the first couple of turns in here needs to be, need, need to be very thin. So you're going to, you're going to do that same thing where you, where, you, where you pinch and sort of stretch, but not really. You're going to do that pretty far up so that when you make the turn, the first turn, even the first turn, the first two turns maybe, is, 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 you see that? It's, it's real thin. I'm just going to go back.
Because if it's real thin, I think I caught a piece of deer hair there. Then it won't build up the body in the back. But once you get to the, the you know, the, you, you get forward, it starts to get thicker, and then that's where you want to be. So this is. Set right there. Then you gotta cut as much of this out as possible without cutting the thread. So we're good there. Let me get some more of this dubbing. And we're gonna bring this over. I think that's good. We'll clip this off real close. All right now we have this, we need to, there's a little piece of a case that goes right, right over here. It's pretty easy to put on. And then what I also like to do is just put I almost put, I almost put the super glue into the uh deer hair stacker. Yeah. I actually think it could be a little bit smaller. good legs I'm gonna go back to those yellow ones now um, I like to do it's, just, it's a it's a hopper so I'm gonna do three legs together and then we put a knot in it somewhere When you put one of these knots in, there's going to be a natural angle to it. See that? Where, however you put this knot in, it's going to want to do a shape like this. You, you find that shape and then you want that to go up. And that little knuckle right there, probably you know, somewhere halfway down the body. And what also I like to do is, I like to change it now to, to two legs. So it's like, a, it's like a taper. Three legs. Knot them. Find that, the natural angle. They like the flare. That's just just how it is because the foam is there. You can you can put a little super glue on them. Right. Now before we put this head on, I'm just gonna throw a just a little bit of well, it's the head and the wing together. But before I do that, I'm just gonna throw just a little bit of flash in, not much, but right at the top. Now a good idea right now is to especially if you're if you're new to uh, stacked or spinning heads that you super glue the hell out of this thing and the reason you do that is because 
if you screw up the head and you need to come in there with a razor blade to cut it off, you don't want to cut this thread and the whole thing unravel. So we'll give this a chance to dry. And I guess I can show you what the wing is. So the wing is, the wing and head, it's not deer hair, although you can use deer hair. Deer hair is completely fine. Uh, I just happen to use antelope. Um, this one is, is deer hair, because I don't have uh, chartreuse. I don't have chartreuse antelope. But I really like to use antelope on the heads of, of, um, of like my hopper, and I have a big mayfly that looks like this too, and a big stonefly that looks like this, and I always like to use antelope because it's, it's, it floats better than deer hair, and I don't know, it gives it, an, it gives it a different look. And you know what, I'm glad this one is deer hair because I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you the difference. It, um, it, it looks a lot different because I would say the fibers of antelope, are pro it's, it's, it's more than twice the diameter of deer hair. It's more than twice. So it, it just has a completely different look. Now before we do this, we're not gonna use this 6-0. We're gonna switch to, this is Vivas, what is this? This is 100. And that's gonna make it so that uh, we, don't, we don't break the thread, because you really gotta crank down on this stuff. And when I say you really gotta crank down, I mean you pretty much have to, you gotta crank it as hard as you possibly can. Another little trick here is, see there's a big slope? Well, if you If you whip finish right at the top, it's going to help it from, you know, it's going to, it's going to not stop it from sliding down, but it's, it's going to be very hard for it to slide down. That first turn can always be a real, real pain when it's, when it's sloped. Now, a lot of people say you can't use antelope for wings because the tips aren't very fine. Well, it's true that they're not very fine, but that doesn't mean you can't use them. I use them anyway. I like it. So now, we're not gonna spin this. This is the easy way of doing it. All we're gonna do is we're gonna put a loop over, we're gonna keep it on top, another loop, and then we're gonna just yank down. As hard as you can even if you got to hold the hook there. Then, put a little super glue in there, hold that wing again, and run it right in with the super glue. And I just like the big bushy mess, but we'll take care of that at the end. Next one you're going to do is you're going to do it on the bottom. Same exact thing. Notice I'm not spinning it. There's, there's no need to spin it. And it's, it's a lot easier this way. It's a lot faster too. Hold it right there on the bottom. One loop. Two. Crank down. So now you got something that looks like this. Big mess. That's okay though. But you really gotta make sure this thing is tight because this is the, these turns are the only thing holding it together. Here's how I bring it forward. Now a lot of that super glue is helping, but still it can unravel if you're not careful. What I do is, see this tool right here? I use this thing, it's the, the tip, this is a little ridiculous, but it's the tip to a Great Stuff Pro Gun. Great Stuff is that um, stuff you spray insulation, spray insulation you do in the walls. Well, they come with these tips, and it has a nice little taper on it, and it has a, it's, it's, it's got some, some ridges on here for grip, and uh, it really works perfect. So what I do is, is that I, I, 
all I'm doing is just turning one around and I'm going, I'm putting the thing around the eye. And that's it. Now once it's on there, I just keep doing turns. As many as I can get. You can even do like two or three. Now that obviously is not really a whip finish, but you'll see after I do this, I don't cut this off right now. After I do that, I take the super glue and I essentially drench this entire area up here. So we put that in there and we let that dry. Get a, get a razor blade, the real sharp kind. This one happens to be an Astra Superior Platinum. I mean, you get you get you're gonna get like I don't know one fly out of a side. That's how fast these things get get dull. We turn it over, and all we're gonna do is. We're going to cut Now a lot of people like to, to curve this like this and they go up like that. That that works. But I like to use a curved a curved pair of scissors. Now to get this thing out, once you do this, you just find it. And you just hit it with the razor blade. It's very tough to cut it with scissors. Curved pair of scissors, this is what I use. This one's supposed to be a Dr. Slick. The wing's gonna is gonna be real bushy, so you can you totally cut into that wing. Make that make those cutoffs part of the head. Now we cut these. Now, when you put that super glue in, I mean, sometimes a lot of these hairs can stick together. But if you just get it yourself, you just get yourself a needle and just run it through very softly. They'll break apart. I like the way these big heads look with the antelope. And it's just got a little bit of flash in there. So there it is, the eye is clean. You can see the little loop in the back. You always want that loop to be past the back of the hook so that it can drop straight down. This just makes it. Could be a hair longer to be honest with you. But I think it's not bad. Just gonna drop straight down. Hopper indicator. That's yellow. That's green, chartreuse.